Hey, and welcome back to another video from my Vintage Tech Showcase playlist. Uh, the playlist of videos where I showcase older mobile phones and just kind of give you a retro review about them. Today, what we have is the Nokia 5700 Express Music from 2007. The 5700, as you may have already heard with the name, uh, is a phone from the, 50, from the Express Music lineup. Um, so uh, music oriented phones and when you have a quick go around of the phone you can see uh, traces of this uh, music orientation there is a um, music uh, controls at the back a set of music control buttons at the back and the most interesting thing about this phone is when it's like this it's a slab but when you do this it turns into a swivel phone so swivel phones are a niche market and they're they you don't find them anymore obviously you can't like take a phone like this and start swiveling it um but back in the day there were a lot of swivel phones uh which had uh twistable parts and there were like hybrids as well the n series there was this phone which was a flip and a swivel at the same time i'll put it up on screen it was a hybrid um this is an example of just a swivel phone uh with the camera being able to face backwards frontwards and turn entirely to uh, open the music controls as you can see here. Um, like I said, this phone is from 2007. Just a pointer, uh, this might be annoying for some people, but this um, I have no way to power this phone apart from this N95 battery. I got it out of that N95. Uh, it's a BL5F battery because this phone's battery, I don't have it. It came without a battery. So I I know it kind of looks ugly and it looks kind of annoying, but that's how it's going to be because I cannot power. They have no other way to power this phone. Initially, I bought this phone thinking um, it will be great for a repair video because the seller had said it was broken with this. As you can see with this listing here, uh, it was like $27 or something. It came from Ireland, um, but the language was in Russian. So probably a Russian living in Ireland. I don't know the previous owner. Um, but I had a really hard time changing the language using Google Lens because Google Lens is always not correct. <clears throat> but I eventually did change the language <clears throat> and um, it is now in English and I can do a review on it. Um, so kind of a bummer I couldn't do a repair video on it, but uh, it's kind of 50-50. I got a working phone which was uh, listed as broken, but whatever. But before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button as it helps my channel and helps this video uh, get on YouTube's uh, algorithm. Uh, it's really hard for smaller channels like mine to get on the algorithm. So liking every video, if you really did like the video, um, helps it out a lot. Also, at the end of the video, if you really enjoyed the video, please consider smashing that subscribe button as well and hitting that bell notification to get notified whenever I upload more videos. If you liked the content you saw, this is the kind of stuff that I usually do on this channel. Retro tech, unboxings, reviews, etc, etc. So please consider liking this video and please consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, let's jump right into this. Okay, so first let's have a quick go around of this phone uh, before we power it on and I show you the software and everything else. Um, up front we have the display and we'll be talking about that in a bit. It's a 2.2 inch display. There is a uh, joystick here. It's one of those old joystick phones. Uh, it goes up, down, left, right and it's also a selection button. Bunch of other buttons, your usual keypad. Uh, this is the menu button on this side as you can see here and you can quickly jump to your contacts on this side by pressing these two These buttons are quite hard by the way. We have Nokia branding on the side here as well uh, Pretty minimalist looking front looks like an looks like your every average phone um, But then the front with this phone can be whatever you want it to be. It could be the camera it could be a speaker or it could be your music controls, which is quite interesting. So this phone technically does not have a set form factor. You can uh, change it the way you want to whatever you want at the time to be up front here, which is quite interesting. This side, uh, the speaker, um, the uh, USB type B is what they called it. USB type B, micro USB type B. I called it the PlayStation plug because when I was small, the only type of plug only type of device that I had that 
had this kind of USB was the PlayStation Portable. So I call it the PSP plug. Um, SD card slot, um, the older style, well, the, the barrel connector, but not the bigger barrel connector, the slimmer barrel connector for charging the phone. Um, that's all on this side. At the back, usually the back cover is like there, but like I said, it's falling off. I have to restore this back cover. I have to actually restore this entire phone. So I will be doing a restoration video on this where I mold a new flap for this uh, out of plastic filler and try and fix the back cover as well. But that's how it is. Uh, this is the back of the phone. There's um, no camera as you can see because the camera's at the bottom there. We'll talk about that in a bit. And again, the back also can be whatever you want it to be if you keep flipping this thing around. Up top, we have the power button and that's about it. On this side, we have the volume controls uh, up here and another speaker as well. So overall, this phone has three speakers. One, two, three. So again, it's a music oriented phone. So three speakers is kind of obvious. It's no, it's a no brainer there. And then we have the camera and the flash down here as well. But then again, you can, it could be whatever you want it to be uh, considering this is a swivel kind of phone. At the bottom, we have the microphone and the 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. So back in the day, some phones had 2.5 millimeter jacks. And I think it came with a, uh, a an, adap an adapter to plug your 3.5 millimeter, but I can't confirm. I've not seen an unboxing of this video, but there were adapters for sale anyway. But uh, the the thing, the, uh, the headphones that shipped with this came with a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. And the Nokia headphones for the Express Music lineup back in the day were really, really good. So you probably didn't have to go out and buy a different pair. You could use the ones that came in the box. They were really good. I also forgot to mention there's an LED notification light up there as well uh, up front next to the speaker. Uh, so you're notified whenever you have a uh, call or message that you missed. Anyway, that was a quick go around of the phone. So let's power this thing on. And uh, I think I've turned down the volume, so you may not hear the Nokia uh, welcome note. Let's try it. Nah, I have, I have to put it on general, uh, but I don't have a SIM, so I cannot technically uh, turn up the volume for that. Um, so that was the welcome note and we are in the interface as you can see here. So now let's uh, discuss the display on this phone, uh, which is a 2.2 inch uh, LCD display. It's a TFT LCD display, so TFT technology, slightly older technology, uh, 240 by 320 pixels and which gives it a rough pixel density of around 182 pixels per inch. So 240 by 320 pixels, 182 pixels per inch. Uh, since it's a 2.2 inch display with that resolution, it gets a 4, point, a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So 4 by 3 aspect ratio, um, pretty decent display. It's actually quite bright. Uh, ignore the flickering, that's not from the display, that's from the, uh, the shutter and the uh, display refresh rate uh, going at different, um, frequencies for a bit there. That's what happens uh, when the, the the refresh rate on the screen versus the camera shutter on my uh, phone here, um, that that happens. That's where the flickering comes from. Uh, but anyway, that back to the display. Um, it's a pretty decent display. 2.2 inches was perfect for the, for the time for 2007. It's really bright actually. It's a really bright display. This is not even full brightness, but it's really bright. So great outdoor performance as well. Um, and it was the run of the mill uh, display you'd get in 2007. Perfectly adequate for the job. So now let's discuss uh, software. This is running Symbian uh, 9.2 series 60 or S60 as they called it. Um, we can check exactly what this one is running. There probably are some updates, but I'm probably never gonna do them. Uh, let's do, which one was it? Star hash zero, 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 zero hash. So we are running 3.83.1 2007. So that's the version it's running. So it's kind of an older, older version. This is the uh, 
22. Yeah, this was updated last in 2007. So I think there's another update available for this. I probably should check it out. <clears throat> but um, then again, updating these things at this age is also quite a pain in the butt. I might even just leave it like that. It looks perfectly fine. Uh, so that's what it's running. So let me get you a quick go around of the operating system as well. So like I said, the menu button over here, kind of strange over there, but it makes sense if you're holding it with one hand. So your classical interface. Um, initially, I was in big trouble trying to find how to change this from Russian to English. And I had to use my Nokia 6.1 with Google Lens and like use the translate feature. So we have the music player here. Uh, this uh, phone has no music on it um, and I cannot play music on it as well because due to copyright reasons. And there's no way YouTube would load up for me to uh, put my uh, put one of my videos up to use as a sample. But this is the interfa interface, pretty uh, old school Nokia interface. Um, it has a bunch of features and bunch of apps the previous owner has already installed. Um, the personalization. This is kind of an older version as you saw because <clears throat> in more newer versions of uh, Symbian, personalization was already inside settings. But in this version, it's out here. I mean, he could have taken it out. The previous seller could have technically moved it out. Oh no, you can't change that. No, no. Yeah, you can't change the uh, general layout. The only change you can do is like uh, menu view from here, as you can see. Uh, there's a V shape one as well. You can choose that if you like. It's pretty nice. Uh, it has a bunch of settings. Let me show you the others as well. Horseshoe, which is a U, or is it not? Oh, okay, that's, oh, right. That's horseshoe. Yeah, it's somewhat of a U like that. So it's quite interesting. Um, it shows you actually the subfolders when you, this is actually nice. Cause as you can see, when you scroll down like that, it, show, it shows you all the subfolders. For example, if you go into, uh, um, where was that? Applications, you get all your applications, you know, subfolders over here. You go to personalization, you get those, you get, you go to gallery, you get, why didn't it come up this time? Oh yeah, it doesn't show gallery. Okay, so web, it shows you those, organizer, it shows you those. So quite interesting, but I like the, uh, the grid, the grid list, but you can also ch download themes as you can, as you saw there. So it's your old school Nokia interface, pretty interesting, nostalgic, old stuff. Um, uh, it really brings back a lot of memories from using identical phones back in the past. So that was the software and interface on the Nokia uh, 5700 Express Music. Moving on to internal hardware on the Nokia 5, uh, 5700 Express Music. Um, so this is a feature phone. It does not have to be beastly or it shouldn't, it doesn't have to be too powerful. Uh, but for 2007, its specifications were more than adequate to power this phone and run all the applications available on Nokia's OV store and everything else. Um, so in, inside this phone, powering this phone basically is a 369 megahertz ARM 11 processor. So clocked in at 369 megahertz. Uh, it's an ARM 11, quite a popular processor back in the day, back in 2007 to 2010. Um, it has 64 megs of RAM, so 64 MB of RAM, and it has an internal storage of 128 megs as well. So 64 megs of RAM and 128 megs of internal storage. Uh, this can be expanded with the micro SD card slot, which is uh, maxed out at two gigs. So a maximum uh, SD card slot size of two gigs, uh, which was plenty for the time. Uh, if you were not listening to too much music, 512 megs of uh, data more would be perfect. A lot of people uh, back in the day never even went for one gig. Most people had, were content with 512 megs. Uh, but if you wanted to go all out, put all your music on it and you were a hardcore user, you could go up to two gigs on this phone. So pretty decent specs for the time. Um, they ran all the apps and did what everything need be done. Uh, which was available on the App Store and all that stuff. It's a feature phone, it's not a smartphone. So um, those specs were perfect and they are even usable today. As you can see, There's n these phones don't slow down, basically. Uh, it's the way the software is made. They're, they don't slow down. They're not sm running smartphone software. Uh, 
Um, so these are meant to work technically forever. Um, installing applications, it depends on how fa fast the application was and how it was programmed and stuff. But then again, um, we ca the, the OV store doesn't work and we cannot um, technically uh, put applications onto this phone at this moment because of the certificate and signing issues, uh, which I have to figure out later. Sometimes some install, but some don't, and it's really 50-50. So I've got to figure out a way to get those certificates signed using another software. Uh, but either way, these were the internal specifications of the Nokia 5700 Express Music. Moving on to the camera on the Nokia 5700 Express Music, it has a two megapixel fixed focus camera with a single LED flash and can record video at 320p at to what I believe is around 15 uh, FPS. It could be less than 15 FPS, uh, but it's somewhere on the range, I'd say from between 12 FPS and 15 FPS. Uh, I'm saying this because I couldn't find any exact details about the uh, video recording frames per second online, um, but, but from what I can tell, it's somewhere around 12 to 15 FPS. Now, the cool thing about this phone is, uh, this thing had video calling as well, and for 2007, video calling was not something you'd find, uh, especially in a feature phone like this. Most video calling phones were those communicator phones, the Nokia communicator e the, uh, e and the E-series, because uh, they were business phones. But this thing, it can video call, because why not? You can use this as a front camera. And you may have noticed, when I open the, uh, when I twist the camera around like that, the software opens up the camera application, which is quite neat. And when I close it back up, the software goes back to where it was. It's the same when you twist it backwards for the back camera. Really neat stuff. And again, close it like that, it goes back, which is quite interesting. Uh, really neat stuff there. Um, and there's something it does when you op open the uh, the music, uh, when, you, when you twist it towards the other side. Well, might as well show it to you now. Uh, when you do that, guess what it opens? It, op it op obviously opens the music player. So really interesting stuff there. And if I twist it like that again, it quickly jumps to the camera. Wanna go to music player? No problem, you're back in the music player. You can't twist it that way, that's where the lock ends. So only you can twist it only this way. So pretty interesting stuff. You can also open the camera while the phone, the camera is facing that way. So you go into media and you go into camera. You can still open the camera while it's facing that way. As you can see there, I'm covering it because there you go. Because um, I had to hold it like that, but you can open the camera like that. And to exit the camera manually, you have to go into uh, exit like that. It's kind of tedious, but since you, when you close it, uh, the camera does automatically close, uh, you may not always need that. Because a lot of people held the phone like this and took photos uh, towards this side. So that's pretty interesting stuff. I also forgot to mention that this key uh, also acts as a camera shutter button. So you can use this as a camera shutter button while taking photos, whichever way you put the camera, uh, it will work. So it's also a camera shutter button, which is great, which is multi-use with the uh, play pause button, the camera shutter button, amazing design. Um, but now let's move on to some camera samples from the Nokia 5700 taken during the day. And um, I'll put some taken during the night as well, followed by uh, video samples taken during the day and maybe during the night. I don't know when I start editing this video. It depends on how good the quality is. If it's completely black at night, I'm probably not gonna uh, put the sample, but let's see. Anyway, roll the samples and video samples.
So as you saw with those samples, uh, the thing actually can take a decent bunch of uh, photos and video. I mean, the video isn't too great, but the photos are actually quite nice for 2007 standards. And I'm with two, considering putting myself in the place of an owner from 2007, I'd be really impressed with those photos. Even now in 2021, I'm impressed. Those photos actually look really nice. The video samples are also quite good. The, the nighttime video wasn't the greatest, but nighttime photos were also pretty, pretty decent for a basic fixed focus two megapixel camera. So like I said, this thing is just a simple camera. It has no, it has no uh, autofocus, it's just fixed focus. So pretty interesting stuff there. Um, again, Nokia camera technology. Uh, what could you expect apart from the best? Anyway, that was the camera and camera samples from the 5700 Express Music. Now for some additional features, and I shouldn't say some additional features because there's a lot of additional features on this phone because it's a feature phone and it's an Express Music phone where music was the main focus, but there is more than that available. So uh, the main feature that I'd say is this, which I showed you earlier. When you flip this over, you go to the music player and you have full control over music. I don't have music on this phone because uh, I cannot play music either way uh, due to copyright reasons, but you have full control uh, of the music with this. It's really nice, it's really convenient. Uh, like I said earlier, this also doubles as a camera shutter button. So amazing stuff uh, when you turn the phone like that. Uh, you can also, even if the music's playing like that with the keypad facing forward, you still can use this like that with the back of your, uh, with the back with this finger I've seen a lot of people use this finger to control it um, and it's quite a for this finger it's quite a workout actually press it like that so good thing it's uh, it might start hurting your finger but whatever if you uh, choose to use it with that finger but I've, I've seen uh, some people back in the day use it with this finger and I can understand why well you can just poke it with that whatever so that's one of the main features on this phone if not the main standout feature apart from the twisting mechanism another interesting thing is the dual stereo speaker so one here one here they're really loud and uh, i can't play music for you but there's something else i can do for you which is play the nokia tones which are available on the uh, profiles of uh, this thing so okay so he had a pre previously the previous owner seems to have had some music line of fire so the previous uh the music is no longer there but um we can play some music now so let's play that let's max volume So that was some samples from the uh, speakers from this phone. They're quite loud, uh, really loud actually for 2007. And I'm pretty sure since the Nokia tunes and those built-in tunes are kind of not that on, not in that much of a high volume by preset, if you put loud music on this, it's gonna be really, really loud. So this thing had amazing speakers for its time and I really wish I could play music for you guys to show you how good these speakers are but I can't because of copyright reasons. So <clears throat> anyway, let's move on to some other features as well. So this had stereo FM radio, uh, not just FM radio, stereo FM radio, uh, which was um, kind of a bump up from just a standard crappy FM radio. Uh, it was more clear. It also had additional features like an MP4 player, an organizer, etc., etc., all of which could be uh, improved with downloading applications and stuff so you can basically add on features which are all with some some applications made use of the twisting feature here etc uh, etc et um, so really feature rich phone which was focused mainly around the twisting mechanism the camera and the music playback obviously being an express music phone this phone was also known for its amazing battery life and this was the original battery that came with this phone i'm going to put it up on screen here because i can't remember off the top of my head 
Uh, I have put an N95's battery in here because um, I don't have the original battery. It's a BL5F battery from the N95 over there. Um, I've taped it on because uh, it's too big for this phone, but the original battery was a 900 milliamp hour battery, which was plenty for 2007. Um, it had up to 290 hours of standby time on 2G and 288 hours of standby time on 3G. Um, the talk time was three and a half hours on 2G and two and a half hours on 3G. So amazing battery life for 2007. It's expected with a Nokia phone, nothing surprising there. Uh, low, low power usage on the software, low power usage processor, really good stuff, long battery life. Uh, for you to play your music all day because again this phone was uh, focused on multimedia and music playback so you should have a great battery life uh, to enjoy those content. Let us now turn off the phone and I can show you the back of this phone as well once I take out this uh, battery. Um, I can show you inside. This one is made in Hungary uh, so it is made in the uh, EU. Um, how do I let's open this from one side there I, I still have uh, some more stuff to do with this phone before I uh, put it away for a while before I start the restoration on this phone but uh, I can show you now there we go so that is the back of this phone the full-size sim card slot as you can see there model number etc etc made in Hungary uh, that's the inside of this phone pretty average looking Nokia battery bay so finally we come to the end of this video uh the retro review and uh camera test etc etc of the nokia 5700 express music from 2007 a pretty interesting phone uh one of the best uh, back in its day i really uh have to have phone back in 2007 if you're a music enthusiast great uh swivel feature which uh turns on the camera and if you turn it again turns on the uh um the music player really good feature the thing still works perfectly uh, obviously it's a nokia these things never break uh they're really really tough um and i'm surprised that even the, the the sensor inside when you twist and turn the twisting sensor also still works so amazing stuff here from nokia so anyway uh like i said this is the end of this video um thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed it as usual uh, let me know down in the comments whether you want to see uh, any changes to this uh, format of video that I'm doing. I'll be happy to make those changes. Um, I'm pretty sure this will be the next phone uh, up for uh, this, pl this playlist, the uh, Nokia 5610. Uh, also an Express Music phone, as you can see there, but a more newer Express Music phone. Um, but they look kind of identical with the side. Uh, well, not identical, but yeah, similar. Um, similar purpose, I'd say, but this thing had an interesting navigation key-like thing. This thing has a twisting feature. Um, that'll be the next phone, so stay tuned for that. And also, like I said, stay tuned for the restoration of the um, 5700 Exus Music. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you really wanna see more content like this. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.